You cannot place the blame on someone else. I'm not no, yes, you I'm are. Right now, you're not growing. Let's see Jennifer with no retouching. Yeah, it's just still boring. Just got bags now. Today, I'm taking a look at a photo shoot from America's Next Top Model where they do an unretouched photo shoot, and Tyra gets mad at one of the contestants during panel. Today's shoot is going to be about a clean face. So we're going to take all the makeup off. Whoa. No lip gloss, no blush, no bronzer, no nothing. So we're going to be uptight and close and personal. Having no makeup on, I was really worried about that. You know, this is my little insecurity. I was like, oh, this test is a personal attack against Yaya. I can definitely understand where she's coming from. And as someone who personally struggled with cystic acne for the last year, this would be a nightmare for me. Just having someone photograph me bare face like that, I don't know if I would be comfortable doing that. Today's shoot is going to be about a clean face. So we're going to take all the makeup off. I have Mr. Troy Word here. He is an amazing photographer. So it's, I mean, today it's really up close and personal. It's going to be really just you. There's nowhere to run and hide. Skin is really important <laughs> on models, and especially your hands will show your age. So Nivea has given us hand cream today, and that's what you'll really be modeling. All right, so let's get cracking. Okay, so they're going to be modeling hand cream. So it's about the hand cream. But then Mr. J says, like, skin is so important for models or on models. But also, not everyone has good skin and not everyone is comfortable showing off their bare skin. I've worked with many models who don't have perfect skin. And it's totally normal. They usually want things retouched out. Like, they'll tell me, hey, I have a pimple here. Like, they want that taken out. And their agents will usually, like, if I send an unretouched picture, they'll be like, hey, is this retouched? So... The agents kind of expect photos to be retouched. Uh, models, some do want that retouch. Like, again, if they have a pimple, some don't care. It, it's really just a person-to-person -person basis. Our first victim. Beautiful. So you're starting to think, don't hold that jaw. Takaris. That's nice. Come back to me with your eyes. Beautiful. Just long, elegant, beautiful. The conjure of Iman or something. Oh. Bam, bam, bam. I was trying to throw, like, I'm in the middle of sex right now, kind of, you know, like playing with the hair and grabbing your neck. Eva, just really remember, think some of these really beautiful moments. Beautiful, right there, good. You know Mona Lisa, the pain? Yes. You know yeah. Like, yes. I know her personally. Do She's great. Doesn't Very nice product. woman. Christine, head up to the light. Lean forward and tilt your... Like, when I saw Mr. J, I was like, thank God. It's not you, Sai, from the new seasons. You guys, after watching that last episode with Lennox with the viral TikTok sound, I'll link it down below if you haven't watched it. That cre the new creative director, Yusai, oh my God, he makes Mr. J look like an angel, a saint. He was just that bad. So now seeing Mr. J, I'm like, thank God it's Mr. J. <laughs> Mr. J could be roasting everybody. I'd be like, thank God he's here. Thank God it's not Yusai. <laughs> That's how bad it's getting on the show. Drop that shoulder. Chrissy was nervous. I think she was probably the most limited of all the girls as far as the looks. Ready? I'm used to not wearing any makeup, but I'm not used to being in front of the camera while doing so. Turn back around to me a little bit more, though. Yeah, right there. That's it. At first, I was kind of worried about it, but after getting my hair done and preparing myself mentally, spiritually, I was like, okay, <laughs> I can do this. Beautiful. She looks so cute. Yaya I love that. Is a trooper. She sat in front of a camera with no makeup on and said, you know what? This is my skin, but I'm going to be beautiful. We're done. Yeah. I love that. So far, so good. This is suspicious. I'm like, things are going too well. People are being nice. What's happening? <laughs> Am I watching the right show? Okay, it's season three, yeah. I have trust issues with this show. Jennifer, you gotta bring your chin down. I have great thoughts because that's gonna come through. Give me a little bit of a smile. Troy, she just got her braces off two days ago. Really? You feel like a new woman? So no one's gonna recognize you back home. Huh? I think Norella's so going to work in the mirror and find confidence within her face. Okay. A this is great. Julie, you shake a little bit of that hair up. Great. Great piece through, yeah. Good feedback. Love I this. I kind of looked in his camera and I was saying like, oh, no. What am I supposed to be looking for? Think of elongating the neck. To really stay strong to me. That's it. Mr. J, this is season three. You're nowhere near done with this show. <laughs> He's already bored of from this. It's like, episode. what is it? Episode three. 
He's barely in in the beginning of the season. <laughs> He's already like, I'm over this. You know, aside from Mr. J looking like he hates his life, everything's going well. So we're not questioning any of this. The good feedback, constructive criticism. Like, does no one see a red flag here? A little more hand, yeah. That's nice. Do that. That's great. I don't think I connected well with the camera. So I'm just there, like, in the dark. Like, okay, I'm just going to twirl my hair like they want me to. Okay. I think that's it. Good. Great. Go stay up. Think outside of the box for us. Give me a few more expressions. Kelly, a little more life. Wow. That looks so good. This is great. I love watching this. I died. It just means a little more life. Lives together. Kelly was there. They kept trying to get something out of her that she just wasn't giving. It's just never pressed into your face. Yeah. Intimate. Intimate. Perfect. The makeover really kind of boosted my confidence. And I think, you know, I've got a strong personality and a strong talent. Ready. Oh, she just became so stunning. Yes, I love I that. I totally feel it. Mm, completely. She looks so completely good. Perfect. No, it's, I don't want to be disqualified because I think I have an injury. Yeah, yeah. It's okay. I'm, no, it's not. <laughs> informed Amanda that she was bulimic. Amanda told somebody, and next thing you know, everybody knows, of course. Oh, it's a disorder, so it's I not know. fine. I think it's gonna eat her life. She's like, that's such a huge secret, you know? Like, anybody who does that must have a like, horrible inside. Don't go in there. I feel very sick in my stomach. <laughs> I really hope that they helped her behind the scenes with this. And it's not used as just like a plot line, because that is actually something serious. Like you? She was in there for like what? I timed it, yeah. Like that is not healthy. She has potential to be so good, but yeah. she you don't need to do that. Little girls can't think that, oh, I want to be a model, like I'm gonna have to make myself puke. Now that I think about it, she's always tired, she has new energy, she's always snacking. It's so not healthy. It robs your teeth. Who is she the closest to here though that someone needs to sit her down and talk to her? I should have never opened up and I should have never trusted these girls. I think that they're trying to make it worse and play up Cassie as this mentally unstable bulimic girl who does bad things, lose weight, and she can never be a model. She shouldn't be here. It can definitely be hard to confide in someone about a struggle that you're going through. And I'm glad that she did tell someone. I'm sad about how this is all unraveling. I don't think it's it should be treated as gossip. Nice, right there, good. I love that right there. Now just give me a little tilt over. Right there, beautiful. I can't tell you're insecure. And that's good. Okay. Cassie needs validation. As soon as she has it, she really becomes a model. Right there. Wow, what a concept. He's like, every time I give her good feedback, she does better. I can't seem to connect the dots. <laughs> but no, it, it's not a foreign concept. When you give good constructive critique and you encourage someone, they tend to do better at whatever they're doing, regardless if they're modeling or not. It could be literally anything. Amanda is a complete ass for telling Cassie's secret. She plays this role that she's a sweet, nurturing mother. If someone decides to confide in you, why don't you let that be between you and that person? I have a wheel I agree. to be skinny, and if people have a problem with it, that's their problem, not mine. Good. What the hell was Cassie thinking saying it to me if she didn't want anybody to know and if she didn't want help for it? What do we think? Mm. Yeah, true. I think we got it. I don't care what these girls think anymore. I'm still going to do me, and I'm still going to try to win this thing. Because it's just the way that you handle a situation like that. If she came to one person and one person only to tell them that, it doesn't mean she wants everyone to know. Because if she did want everyone to know, she would have told everybody herself. But instead, she chose the one person. And what do you guys think? Like, how should this be handled on the show? Personally, I think that the model should be taken aside and privately talked to about this and she should have resources to help her. Also, I'm going to say it does, it does. It also takes a lot of courage to be able to show your bare skin. Like Again, I know that when I had cystic acne just a few months ago, okay, it was so difficult. Like I honestly wouldn't even want to leave my house. I remember I went out for my birthday. I had terrible cystic acne and... The waitress, this is on my birthday, the waitress made a comment about my skin. She's like, oh, what happened? Like I had a, I just had like cystic acne. 
and she made a comment about my skin in front of everyone and i'm just like oh nothing you know just scratched something i just made something up i was too embarrassed to say like oh yeah it's cystic acne I went home just I, w- I was like i'm not going out anymore i'm 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 too embarrassed to leave the house people make comments about my skin people ask me about my skin all the time like i'd be facetiming someone oh what happened why is your face like that so i i dealt with a lot having cystic acne i can't imagine having to take bare-faced photos when you're not comfortable doing that. So you had a close-up beauty shoot. There are two things that you were being judged on with this shoot. One is your posing and how well you take a beauty photograph. The other is how much retouching you need. Why would she be judged on that? They're going to judge the models based on how much retouching is needed to their photo. So essentially they're saying the worse your skin is, the worse critique that you're going to get which is not fair at all because you don't choose how your skin is. Like I'm sure if everyone could have their skin look perfect, they would like no one wants acne. This is so messed up. Retouching is extremely expensive. A client doesn't want to have to pay tons of money to get the girl that he hired for a job skin retouched. Here- okay, wait, I just have to comment on what Tyra just said. Retouching is expensive and the client doesn't want to have to pay a lot of money blah, blah, to have this model skin retouched. Usually models who do those campaigns, close-up skin campaigns, have good skin already and don't are good with no makeup. Like they, uh, a model with, let's say, imperfections, acne, probably won't want to take those jobs or probably won't get booked to take those jobs. Here was Christy's best shot. Yawn. I think the mouth is beautiful. I think the, the eyes hot. are dead. Can we see the unretouched? Dead. That is so not good. Eva. They're making it quick. They're like terrible, ugly, next. Eva, come on up, sweetie. I would have clipped the artificial nail as it looks very hooker. Eva, I think this picture is absolutely gorgeous. You, you've... Okay, so again, it's just a retouch photo, okay. Why, again, why would you re... How, why would you have them in no makeup if you're just going to retouch it in the end? What is the point if you're just going to retouch out their bare skin that you made them... Like, you're making more work for yourself. Tyra just had this whole speech about how retouching is so expensive and clients don't want to spend a lot of money on retouching. And then they take a bare face photo and then send all those pictures out for retouching to only prove her point that retouching is expensive (laughs) and people don't want to do that. But then she's doing it to prove her point that about retouching. I don't, (laughs) you guys, I'm confused. Eva, I think this picture is absolutely gorgeous. You, you've captured sort of the essence of the ad. Can we see Eva's unretouched photo? Oh, God. Beautiful. Oh. Stop in the name of love, Cassie. Dude, she, but her... Here is your okay. shot. That's perfect. And Beautiful. It looks not so great. It looks like an old lady hand to me. She's using the product that this advertisement's for. He's like, you look like an old woman. Yeah, no, just your hand. We're using the hand cream that the whole advertisement was about. Can we see the unretouched picture? Hey, that is Are you bad. kidding me? That's better than the retouch picture. Jennifer. Wow. wow. Big change. How do you feel? I feel better now. She Are looks better before. I think so. I'm just gonna say. Here it is. Okay, it's Beautiful. not really doing much for me. It's not really doing much. What is it supposed to do? Babysit your kids, go grocery shopping, smoke argile with you. What is this picture supposed to do? What's killing us is you have what it takes and you're not bringing it. Let's see Jennifer with no retouching. Beautiful. Actually, I kind of prefer this uh, over the retouched photo. What do you guys think? She like, oh my God, I wish I looked this good with with, with no makeup on. She looks stunning. They better not say anything bad about this. Yeah, it's just still boring. Just got bags now. Amanda. Um, that's normal. Andy. Everyone has from, bags. Baby. Your dream. Annie Lennox meets Daryl Hannah from Splash. There you go. Here is your best shot, Amanda. Gorgeous. Oh my Cover God. Of uh, Danish Vogue. Really. Yeah, she's it out. beautiful. Last week you were a broken rag doll, and now you are a queen. Your unretouched photo. Oh. It's- okay. What even changed, you guys? She is beautiful. I love the lighting on these photos, I just have to say. I love the contrast of it, the colors. These pictures are great. Like, I just, I do like the concept too, the unretouched. I wish they actually kept them unretouched. Oh, it's so, that's it. That's it? That's amazing. I almost didn't notice. 
Yeah, but not everyone's that lucky to have good skin. Peter Pan. I'm loving your color change. It's made your whole face come alive. There's confidence in your face here. You've absolutely wowed me. Unretouched photo. So beautiful. Did he do something to her armpit? Did he like push in her armpit or am I just seeing things? Still good. Takara. Here's your best shot. Whoa, that is beautiful. Gorgeous. I'm Love that. In front of the camera, it came quite naturally to you. Let's see the unretouched one. Still yeah. beautiful. Skin as fine as honey. Norel. Still very beautiful. Norel got her braces off. You feel like working it, don't you? They're lovely, your teeth. Today you look like a model. Norel, I think your makeup is fabulous. Thank you. The heavy side reminded me of Winona Ryder on the red carpet. Mm -hmm. It looks like you've got every hand in the photo. You know what? I'm just going to say it. I don't like the retouched versions of these pictures. I prefer the unretouched photos. They're a lot more natural. I think had they just pulled the retouching back a little, like under the eye, once you get rid of this under eye, it does tend to look a bit more on the fake side. Like a lot of retouchers start started keeping the under eye bags, whatever you want to call them, circles. They usually keep that and they just tone it down. We're gonna take a look at your unretouched photo. Help! Oh. I she literally blinders. has like two pimples. And. <laughs> Barely anything. She's like, I can't look. It's too much, please. These people act like they've never had a pimple in their life. They're like, acne, can't relate. I, I had baby bottom skin my whole life. And here is your best shot. You're not utilizing that perfect oval face and the confidence to wear your hair back. I don't, I don't like, I like it either. Know. Let's see Anne's like non-retouched photo. You need to Literally no difference. Yeah. Julie. I don't understand that the feedback. Was the, the evening look, there was not enough on the eye. Why didn't you play it up more? And embrace the Indian and ethnic roots that you have. What's going on with your outfit, honey? It's not a model it's outfit. Fine. Can we what do you mean? What's a model outfit? W please tell us. Is there a uniform? What? Is, what? I don't understand what this show is. Can we take the necklace off and like yeah. roll the pants down? Should she take down come, her hair? Come style her, Tyra. You're looking pedestrian here, honey. The eyes are not there, the angle, you're yeah. not working it. She just said, you look pedestrian. Like that's supposed to be an insult. You look like an average person that eventually becomes a model. Unretouched photo. I want to know. What's the difference? They're, everyone looks great. They should have just kept it unretouched. I want to know why you want to be a model. Honestly, it's for me to get into this industry and to learn more about it, for me to start my own apparel manufacturing company. Oh, wait, wait, wait. You want to start a manufacturing company? Yeah. I never had that, like, model confidence. Oh, so uh, you didn't want to be a model. You want to be a manufacturer. You've got to concentrate on the job at hand. Mm -hmm. yes. The job at hand is modeling. OK, thanks, Julie. Up next, we have- They're mad at her because she has other aspirations other than modeling, which is smart. They're like, you have interests outside of this. This isn't your entire life. You have a one in 700 chance of becoming a model after this with zero photos to use in your portfolio to get jobs. And you're not, you're, this isn't your whole entire life and eternity. Wow. Disappointing. Like, don't all these people do things outside of the show? Tyra, Nigel, he does photography outside of the show. All these people have businesses and other things other than being judges, but that's okay. But then the models have to dedicate their heart and soul and breathe just America's Next Top Model. Like, God forbid you have a hobby. Oh, I like to knit. Oh, you want to knit and become a model? That's not possible. You need to focus just on modeling. Yeah, yeah. Here is your best shot. Looking good here, girl. Too much retouching, honestly. I wasn't sure you were ever be able to be so soft. And this picture looks more innocent, and it's really beautiful. Let's see your unretouched photo. You have to work on that skin. You drink more water. Water, water, water. You can get there, but it's going to take some work. Did he, did he just say drink more water? Because that's, oh my God, I hate when people tell me, just drink water. Do you think if it were that simple, any of us would have had acne? There would be no acne if it were just simply, oh, just drink more water. It's water. How many how many bottles are you drinking a day? Is it Dasani? Yeah, you should be drinking Mountain Fresh. That's very lazy advice to give someone 
who is suffering from acne. And I say suffering because you do suffer with acne. It hurts to literally wash your face. Like, And people have told me, oh, why don't you just wash your face more? I'm like, do you know the skincare routine that I had when I had acne? I was so gentle and I would make sure that I knew exactly what I was using. Like I had a specific routine catered to helping with my acne. When you have acne, that's all you think about. You literally obsess over your skin. So for him to just say, oh, like just drink more water. Like it's that easy and it's that simple. That's just, I, I wouldn't want to hear that if I had acne or and like even if I was just insecure about my skin. It's crazy just the advice you get, the unsolicited av- advice that you get when you have acne, especially cystic acne, because people just think that you're dirty when you literally are washing your face when you buy the best products, you see dermatologists, you do everything, okay? You do everything to try to get your skin to clear up. It's so mentally exhausting you obsess over your skin it's all you think about who else has gotten that just drink more water yeah that'll clear your skin up thank you nigel i will drink more water after this actually i should i should probably just drink water right now clear my skin up some more i have some scarring let me just let me get my bottle i already feel my pimples disappearing wow and last but not least kelly Kelly, you're a slamming fierce. This change is amazing. I like your hair a lot. Girl, there's nothing on your, I mean, a little bit of blue on top, but that's it. You have to put on more makeup as a woman of color. Our skin absorbs the light. It doesn't reflect the light. Here is your best shot. I love this shot so much. I know I'm gonna love it even more unretouched because she just looks beautiful. I love the cropping, the light, so soft and pretty. Really great photos overall. And her hand placement is perfect. Her expression, my favorite photo so far, actually. Overall, this picture is just bland. You look like a- Respectfully, I disagree. Perfect almond shape eyes. There's nothing coming behind it. Let's see your unretouched shot. It's like a hitch. Literally still beautiful. There's barely any difference. She looks fantastic. Even this photo, I prefer. Beautiful, natural stunning she looks great the lighting really complemented this photo shoot it's very soft photographer did a wonderful job i love his direction uh i love the photo shoot portion was great it's like a hitchcock film go back and forth back and forth really fast to see what i mean she looks beautiful wow what are you feeling right now kelly you look it's very shocking to see it like this. The people that usually see my skin tell me that I have beautiful skin. I know you do that have beautiful skin. My eyes are very intense. But if it was intense and better than this, they would have chosen this shot. I know, that's yeah. True. You cannot place the blame on someone else. I'm not no, yes, you I... are. Right now, you're not growing. Take it, all the criticism we give you and use it constructively and be empowered by it and walk away and go, okay, now I know what to do. If you walk out of here and saying the photographer chose the wrong picture, you don't grow. You're right. Okay, Kelly, thank you. So now it's time. For- she didn't, she never said that though. That was very tense. Okay. You see how Tyra was kind of on the defense like, oh, well, don't put the blame on someone else. Wow. That was very uncomfortable to watch. Also, Nigel's like, oh, you can take her. Con- what did, what did, I have to watch this again. And tell me that I have beautiful skin. So she's saying that people compliment her on her skin. Very intense. But okay. if it was intense and better than this, they would have chosen this shot. I know. That's, yeah. She says, I you know. She agrees with Tyra. The blame on someone else. I'm not no, yes, I, you are. Right no, now, she wasn't. Growing. Take it all the criticism we give you the criticism. and use it constructively and be empowered by it. So you want away. her to take criticism and make that constructive. Oh, you look like Alfred Hitchcock movie or something, whatever the hell they said. So she's supposed to take that and then apply it to improve her modeling. Tell us how she's supposed to do that. And then the drink more water thing. (laughs) He's like, you should, I'm not a dermatologist, but take this advice. (laughs) I'm sorry, guys. That's still so funny to me. You guys, take a sip. Everybody, if you got a water bottle next to you. You guys, whose skin was just cleared by right now? (laughs) Drink more water. Are they going to talk about her during deliberations? Let's see. Probably. Kelly. When I see Kelly, I think she's an absolutely gorgeous girl. I don't like people to talk about themselves like, I'm this beautiful person. Let us tell you you're beautiful. (laughs) She tries to blame her lack of intensity on other people. I'm feeling Takara over Kelly. I really am. Wow. I'm feeling that. So you don't want people to have confidence? He's like, I don't like people who think that they're actually not ugly. 
look who you're sitting next to, Nigel. Every two minutes, Tyra's bringing up, well, when I was a model. Like, that's all Tyra does is talk about herself. The pictures before all the judging, pictures of Tyra. The pictures before the photo shoots, pictures of Tyra. It's called Tyra Mail. She has pictures of herself in the model house. Like, she shows up at every photo shoot. She's the photographer for half of these photo shoots, like... But no, it's the it's the model who thinks that she's pretty that is is so upsetting. That's too much. Would you prefer her to be like, you know what? I'm ugly. So you want to be the one to tell her that she's beautiful. You don't want her to have that power. Got it. They literally put her in the bottom too. In my hands, and this photo represents the girl that will continue in the to be bullied towards becoming America's next top model. Okay. The girl's name that I do not call is really lucky. Return to your apartment. Go home. Pack your belongings. And leave. And stop being bullied and made fun of for not wearing uh, you makeup. You two had some of the worst pictures in the bunch. No intensity, no fire, and no passion. Kelly, you played the blame game. You don't she really take didn't. She didn't even finish her sentence. Yourself. It is important to hear the critique and say i can do better what critique Not was that else can choose a better photo Julie, no she never said that you said that you want to be here to further your career in fashion merchandising or manufacturing not once did you say you want to be a top model but she's on the I show like you both lack passion i'm so disappointed in both of wow i'm you. sorry about that that you're disappointed kelly congratulations but you're still in the running towards becoming America's next top model. And I can do better. There you go. Thank you, Julie. Thank you. Wow. Nothing? That's that's it, Tyra. Oh, I love how she exited. I really like a queen. Fly, I mean, like a queen. Just got up and left. That's how you do it. Yes. So, um, they're upset with her because she had other aspirations. Okay. So like, they're like, we know you're on the show and you're participating in everything, but you want to do one other thing in the future. We can't have that. I don't, I don't think Kelly was playing the blame game. She barely got to even finish her thought, her response. And then uh, Tyra just shut her down. That's not, you, know, you don't even let them speak. You don't let them have an opinion. Not cool.